Thank you so very much, K. Alex, for the riveting conversation on youth and politics. K. Superwet Mukwana, and again, thank you so very much for you know trying or, or helping us dissect things that usually look a little bit how to say not very palatable. You are still watching Why in the Morning, the hottest breakfast show around. But today we said it's going to be the latest from now on. White Five on Facebook at Y254 channel on Twitter. Hashtag is Why in the Morning. So we're about to finish with Man Crush Monday. But on a slightly more somber note, we'd like to give you again a breaking news. We have a school precious talent school in Dagoreti, Nairobi, that a classroom has fallen. So according to the updates, we have six confirmed dead. Those are six people's confirmed dead and dozens others trapped. We are very sorry for what's going on and we as a station offer our condolences and we will keep you in the loop as the information keeps streaming in. So please don't miss out and if you have any legit information, Y254 on Facebook at Y254 channel on Twitter, hashtag is Y in the morning. You can use the text line 20154, start with Y254. Karibu ni how are you? <laughs> Let's start with the queen of the group. Hi, queen. Karibu kwetu. Oh, thank you very much. Welcome, <laughs> Abby. I've mm. been around. I have been around just, uh, you know, mm. keeping it busy, keeping mm -hmm. it real, chasing pepper. You know what they say. I love that. <laughs> You're getting your own. Yes, I am. <laughs> thank you. Please do tell them what your name is. Um, my name is Tracy Kikuyu. Mm -hmm. I am a student at the University of Nairobi, mm -hmm. studying journalism and mass communication. Mm -hmm. yes. What are your social media handles? Um, let's just say I don't, I am not out there that much. Mm -hmm. I like to keep the peace and quiet. Really? Yes. <laughs> Guys is going to like you. Oh. Mm. <laughs> he will, he definitely does. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So how have you been? I've been good. Matupotea. Hey, nice to be back. Mm -hmm. I missed you guys. Karibu tena sana na sana. Wana kuita nani uko? Zulu Benjamin. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You don't the doctor in front I know calling a doctor <laughs> just like that. Nidambi. <laughs> eh? You say Zulu Benjamin, that's okay. Oh wow, yeah. you're a humble one. Why are you so humble? <laughs> we'll come back to that later. <laughs> Sasa Daddy. Hey, Guys, if you don't know this guy used to be a very, very, very diligent uh, behind the scenes B kind of Thank situation. you, thank you, thank you. Nabuna Kaga TV before you should think about this. Let's say uh, and come as well behind the scenes, mm -hmm. like in a loan we put opportunity uh, to be in front of the cameras. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell them what your good name is. Uh, my name is Zambros Masiko Anjala. Mm -hmm. Or you can simply call me Rofi. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Social media is not put up. Mm, I'm very active pale social media. Mm. Facebook that is uh, at Rofi Rofi. Instagram Rofi Kenya. Twitter same way Rofi Kenya. Mm -hmm. Yeah. To me scare si faza kevo brayo jonte. Na Ali pia mwengia po moha, uh -huh. atu jasikia zaapo. <laughs> Acha tuone inenda. Rofi ya kuna nini? Mm, ok, Rofi is a humble guy. Uh -huh. Me maintain tu, kichaza ndogo. Kweli? Ya. Yeah. Usubui wa sutana ita wana? Mm -mm. Labda wani sumbue tu. <laughs> oh, look at him. So today we're talking about suffering in silence. What does that mean to you? Ok, um, suffering in silence, uh -huh. like, um, I'll say it's... Um, that moment, mm -hmm. you you have issues, you have problems, but uh, you don't want to share it out. Huh? You like keep it to yourself. Mm. Done it will like on a do. Mali, mm. my new fans and Chelsea fans work or I think mm. I hope they're holding a meeting and discussing. <laughs> because you kitu you huma. Mm? Actually, Dana do. Hey, I chat with okay, I'm a Manchester United fan. Kwalifanya yeah. ataka kakitu wa kakitu. Miko kakitu. <laughs> Inauma, but inabidi tuzoe. Kwe utanipeyo <laughs> line it time, shwali, shwali, shwali. What do you think about guys and, and their, their lack of expressing themselves? Well, for one thing that I may say is that when we talk about suffering, it doesn't really have to be physical. Mm -hmm. It doesn't. Someone doesn't have to hit you for you to f uh, to be suffering. Actually, mm -hmm. someone can just inflict uh, torture and pain to you mentally, physically, through words or actions without even having to lay a hand on you. Mm -hmm. So. Guys do suffer out there, men in specific, they do suffer just that they don't get to say it. That's what we mean by suffering in silence. Maybe it's their ego. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes a man may suffer or may have issues that are burning him up and he cannot open up and say them because he feels like it, it is emasculating. He feels it will make him lesser of a man if he were to express himself. Mm -hmm. So guys yeah, or men do suffer and they 
just don't have the chance to speak out. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You see how we've come? We've come with opinion, opinion, and now we want fact. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I have a, an opinion as well. And I imagine that a guy who will never re really come out and tell you, okay, uh, maybe, for example, I tell him I want something. Oh, babe, I want this. So he takes a bit of time but gets it for me. And uh, there's no explaining, okay, I did this and this and this and this. So that means in, in a situation where maybe it's purely monetary, to say maybe I'm a hustle for three weeks just to get me that one thing I want. He would never tell me what the hustle is. He won't tell me what he went through. He just says, here you go, you want it, now I've gotten for you. Mbona, mbona mkwevo. Um, let's begin here by saying that the role of being a man by itself mm -hmm. predisposes us to pressure because society expects us to be tough, mm -hmm. you know, lions shed no tears, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, and the society where men meet around alcohol mm -hmm. and bars, come drink at the table of men, you mm -hmm. know, and then you're being told toughness is now masculinity. Mm -hmm. And then we come to define toughness as being always on top of things, mm -hmm. always ahead, always leading. Mm -hmm. So the first pressure that comes from being a man mm -hmm. is the societal wrong expectation that we are always tough. Mm -hmm. The other balance is, at what point do I become human mm -hmm. if I'm always tough? This is what I want to encourage all men. Mm -hmm. Just because you're being called upon to mm -hmm. be tough, to be a hell, to be doing things and all that, and you know the six pack, you know, mm -hmm. <laughs> somebody said, I love my six pack so much that I've hidden it under a layer of fat. Wow. <laughs> wow. Uh <-huh. laughs> you know? Uh, doing a lot of gym to build the body. Mm -hmm. It's good. Some people love that. Mm -hmm. But I think we need to have balance. You remember to be human. Mm -hmm. You remember to say sometimes you have not gotten it right. Mm -hmm. I tell men that you don't have to talk to ladies if you fear them seeing you as weak. Mm -hmm. Especially when I'm at dating, you mm -hmm. so many ladies out for dinner. It's like a feeding program. And you find someone is very broke simply because anatomy is 2K it's economical <laughs> maintaining so one lady is sustainable. is sustainable <laughs> i did it so that i don't sink if i spread all my few coins on oh, all of you yeah. <laughs> day, I, I, I beg to differ a bit mm, wow. it isn't always the case mm -hmm. you could have one lady but this lady texts and texts and mm -hmm. texts and pushes you to the wall i have seen men who Are have that type Tracy, let's talk. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, most definitely, I would say no. Okay. But we have ladies out there. I have. I am a lady. I am speaking from things I have seen, things I have had. We have ladies out there that will take and take. It's almost as if you're investing, but you never get anything back. Come on, Mercedes Benz. Eh? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so she's no, really right. I complain. I'm not saying you mm -hmm. just pick any lady. I said one reason I ask guys to be real is narrow down on what you want in life. This guy is burning something. Give him that yeah. microphone. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, we have these guys, okay, uh, I won't say I'm one of them, huh? Yes. I'm so generous, huh? I meet Tracy on the roadside. Yeah. Hi, oh. Tracy, how are you? You're a nice lady. I'll let you take her out. You see? I've offered myself to take her out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Is it real or is it an example? No, I'm being real. Okay. I'm being real. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I would wish to take you out. Okay. Now that um, um, Utani Katokora is kwa wale watu wana spend um, with... Um, <laughs> Again? The question? Will you categorize me as a person who like... Um, nah, spends yeah, on, spends every, on every, every lady. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Because I'm too generous. Being a bachelor yeah. and being generous is a different thing. Neither am I me by saying I have one lady who I'm entitled to treat. Mm -hmm. I'm saying there are guys who are just who just lack focus. You spread yourself so thin that you are generally everywhere and nowhere in specific. Mm -hmm. Okay? Everybody knows you as an acquaintance, but nobody knows you as a friend. Mm -hmm. You don't spend enough time. So what you're saying, first pressure, that they have a duty to impress every lady. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you, uh, he will tell you, he might have realized, real women like Tracy mm -hmm. love you more real mm -hmm. than you acting what you are not. Anakupeleka, this guy who acted at, he had to quit his job. Kula mingi, kumbe kustukia hiyo pesa ata meova, meova spend ili ako nayo. Mm. So mingi kwa matata kwanza kuchonga viazi, na likuwa na jaribu kuimpress a lady. So I agree with you. Being generous is a very good thing because you don't want stingy men again. Yes, that, 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 that is actually true. That is why I always say there is a difference between generous mm -hmm. and stupid. 
generous. Wow. Mm. There is a very big difference. You know, if I have something, I will give it to Val. I have this, I have two of them, so I can give it to Val. I'll share. That is good. That is generosity. Correct. But there is a point where someone gets very stupid generous. That is very different. Please, let us not confuse it to be generous. There is stupid generous. And another thing is that why men suffer nowadays is because they have taken a, a turn to believe that for you to be considered as someone who is macho, someone who is a man, you have to spend money. Do you know that there are other ways you can get a lady's attention without even spending a dime? You can get... Uh, have you... Yes, we have men who spend... This guy is waiting for <laughs> we have, <laughs> we, 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 I'm about to give him a paper, guys. <laughs> I have a paper about to give we him a pen. men out there who mm -hmm. spend so much money and they impress you. They'll take you to, I don't know, somewhere, buy you Gucci, Louis Vuitton. Oh, that is beautiful. They'll buy you the most expensive perfumes. That is nice. But trust me, have you ever met an intelligent man? Wow. A man of honor? Wow. That it, it, it is... It is more captivating than it doesn't matter how much a, a man can spend you know I can, a man can take you out there and spend so much money on you but at the end of the day there is no connection and she's saying they spend so much on uh, these things they don't spend anything on books eh? mm -hmm. anything on learning anything on improving themselves sometimes a lady wants to be given insight on a problem she's facing mm -hmm. I've met many ladies who tell me it's so refreshing to talk to you mm -hmm. you have a depth of understanding mm -hmm. and I tell men don't you know that the first uh, you remember what he said? If you want to make a lady funny laugh, mm -hmm. make her laugh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Where are my mean people? Where are my mean people? Uh -huh. Some okay, yeah, yeah. laughing and cracking and giving us so many points that she even tweets you. Mm -hmm. She will fall in love along the way. Yeah, sure, sure. I recently started uh, posting memes on my WhatsApp status. Wow. <laughs> So I'm getting uh, so many DMs. Eh? You're so, on the right oh, track, Rofi, Pijama. you're so funny. Hey, hey. You know, you see, yeah, you see. Now you, no. you've got no trust you're saying. Kwanza, Kwanza, uske aki wewe, uko semifinals. Congratulations, sir. Yeah, you have yeah, yeah, yeah. it from yours, yeah. mom. Mm -hmm. So, see, the first pressure is one woman on a wrong notion of mm -hmm. being strong. Ati niku kwa fake. So the first thing, women will tell you they want a real man. Mm -hmm. They don't want weaklings or fake people, but they want a man who's trying his best and he's real. He tells you the truth. Mm -hmm. When he's in a situation, he will talk. Because get, ladies don't want to become psychic. I'm a muganga to guess what you're thinking. Mm -hmm. One lady texted me, my boy, I think he's going through something and he's not talking to me. What can I do? I told her you have two options. One, mm -hmm. I'll go to a psychic to read his head for you or just ask him. <laughs> so I think the one thing we need to do is to release men from the pressure of being fake. Mm -hmm. And tell them women are okay when you're real. And what she has said, what she's calling stupid, I like that. <laughs> stupid, generous, mm -hmm. irresponsible, careless, not planning. Because resources are limited. Even if you have how much money, if you spend it carelessly, soon you'll be out of it. I have met a gentleman who claims uh, accountability. Or, or rather, I have read accountability can sound like an attack if you're not ready to, you know. So if you go around hurting people's feelings, Alafu Aku just say, yo, you hurt my feelings. The immediate response would be, I, everyone has their own happiness. It doesn't, really, it doesn't matter what they did or what they said to hurt you, it will just never be their fault. Yes, and that, that is actually very really true. Mm -hmm. I, have, I have seen men who are unable to stand up and own up their own mistakes. Mm -hmm. They consider it as um, being weak. And you'd find someone like that is always depressed. Mm. Always depressed now, and openly admits it like, yo. You know, yes, we have things that eat someone up, uh -huh. but guilt can eat a whole man up in ways that you cannot oh, even man, imagine. Fieka, fieka, uh, a man is so uncomfortable. It's the guilt that is eating him up. That is self-inflicted. <laughs> he can't live by. He can't live with himself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, uh, I would like to. We are number kura. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. As men, we're very different from ladies. Okay, ladies, you see, uh, I always observe around. Huh? The ladies, will, uh, okay, they'll come, they'll hug each other. Oh, how's the day been? And they call each other sweetie. Yeah, sweetie, babes. Yeah, they call themselves babes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 As men, I can't really relate to that. Okay, it's in the morning. I meet with the doctors. We start hugging him. At, yeah, yes, you yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Joe, you, you see it? So weird. He's only Ghani. Bro, he's only Ghani. But let me ask you why. Mm -hmm. Why? 
Okay, because um, it's not that. Can I? Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's not that we are not emotional. It's that we are emotional. Our, we, we, it's not that we don't feel each other. We don't like each other or anything. We have our own way of expressing it, and it's not that um, what? It's not that so much emotional, so yeah. to speak. Sometimes, uh, if I, a guy texts me hi in a chair, I'm almost not, not going to respond. Yes, you'll ask yourself many questions. Mbona. 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 Hi, Kwanini. Hi, Kwanini. So, you'll find a. Uh, uh, let, me, let, me say, let me say I have issues with my girlfriend. Mm-hmm. Then, he doesn't ask me. Hey, and I'm a baby. bro. Do you see? I won't open up to him. He mm-hmm. won't know my, my issues. So, I'm going to take care of him. But if he could have come, hey, Joe, I'm going to take care of him. Then, I tell him, hey, John, I'm going to take care of him. He helped me sort out the issue, you see? No, and like, uh, okay, you ladies, you, you know your thing, eh? What is our thing? And Val, we need to, we need to give a shout out mm-hmm. to all boys who don't abandon their buddies just because they get girlfriends. And vice versa? Okay. Um, <laughs> I, I, I have, I have a, a little bit of problem with that. Do you know sometimes a man is as a result of the woman they have? If you find a man Before who you came, has, who was I? Who was... <laughs> <laughs> but it's true. I'm not your woman, you see? That's that's different. Yeah. Assume you are. Wait. But you're saying you made me. Wait, Before wait, you sir. came, no, what no, was no, I? Do not I attack sometimes. my queen. Excuse me, hi. Do not attack my queen. I think all she's saying is that there is a saying, behind every strong man is a strong woman. Yes. Okay, you mm-hmm. see... Different men appear differently when they are with different women. Women, for, sorry. For example, you can have a man whom, as you have said, will abandon his friends because of the woman he has. That is that woman. A woman, you know, we have things that are addictive like sugar, cocaine, but you know, a woman can be more addictive than all of these things. And this woman will have ways to persuade this man and tell him all the most beautiful things. And this man will never leave that house. <laughs> you know, sometimes it's just the man. It's not, the, yeah, it's just the woman. Okay. And we have women whom when they they are with a man they will encourage this man to be a better man they understand this man just besides being with me he has life a life outside he had a life before i was with him he he has a life outside just being with me so sometimes it's just the kind of woman that you have i get what you're saying Mm -hmm. i was just going that direction for the sake of debate Mm-hmm. <laughs> I love debating. <laughs> this is what we are saying. Mm-hmm. We are saying let's not abandon because I'm a same, we are not always comfortable telling ladies where we are struggling. Yeah. You need to have a buddy. You as a guy, you need to have a man with whom you're free. And he can tell you're not okay even when you're not telling him. Mm. There are people who know you so much, they can hear your silence. They can hear when you say I'm fine. Mm-hmm. They know that fine means I'm not. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And sometimes, um, because of the way we are grown, another problem men have is we don't have modeling. Baba Zetu Aku to Onyesha Bile Alihando struggles. We have no clue mm-hmm. what we are supposed to do. The only emotions many of us saw from our fathers was drunkenness and anger. <laughs> you know. <laughs> you no kukana talk. kusoma gazeti. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Thank mm. you. Doctor. That's actually true. Mm. Okay. Akuri, uh, Iso Satya Saizi, mm. he made to bring up like, um, okay, things are changing. Yeah. Akuna yeah. Yeah. relation. Yeah. Father to son. Correct. Those days back then. So, we mother to daughter about Eko. Eko, what a good chapter. One of the other people. He's not wrong. I want to say Eko, mother in law. Okay, um, I was just saying, um, like yo, Atuna, that bond mm-hmm. nowadays. So, dad is equal. Yeah, like, even in a fight. Yeah. Therefore, we should stop blaming boy child yeah. and take the blame to boy father. Mm. Actually, let us see, Ivo. It, there was a point where there was a lot of outcry because the girl child has been empowered. And now we're looking back to think, eh, but boy child, we empowered this one, we empowered, we empowered, we empowered. She's over here. Boy child is still Kashu somewhere kachin, over here. Yeah, kachu and kachin. at first, I was very, I was very, how to say, skeptical. I was like, okay, fine. Yes, you're making a point, Sawa, to me, boy child. But I, w- girl child has been having so many problems. Kwanza, this African continent, going to school has been a problem yeah. for decades and and at a two two kitchen one two dem as if a man can will, will melt if he starts cooking. <laughs> I, but uh, I honestly feel mm-hmm. like sincerely we need to raise the boy child now. It's time. Yeah. Because we've we've gone, we've empowered but we're not telling boy child, okay, okay kutana na who you empowered girl child, unafa kum handle heavy. I you think know, there should so be many some men who think a good woman she want, a good woman is one who will be subdued and quiet and staying at home because maybe that's how their mother was. So she, he, what you have said, we have a generational change and men are not equipped to handle this empowered woman. What I tell them is, I, look, I was looking for a girl who can study and climb up with me mm-hmm. because when she's a helper and she has money, mm-hmm. she will also help me with money. 
Amen. It's a direct common sense. Yes, yes. If she's a helper and she's learning, she'll help me with ideas. Mm -hmm. If she's a helper and she's globalized, she'll help me with ideas from outside. Mm -hmm. If I keep her down here, mm -hmm. I will have a helper who is weak. Trying to help you, help me carry this table. But only your, one of your finger is working. Mm. <laughs> because if you'll sit and ask you, please just move it on this side. No, you missed a spot this side closer. Yeah. Yeah.